In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take any card whatsoever, in this case the King of Diamonds, place it in the center, maybe 20, 10, 30 cards down, and you can clearly see that with no moves, you're going to have that card go back straight to the top. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at a card control that's going to allow you to place a card clearly into the center of the deck and then have it appear back on top. But that's not the only thing you can do. You can also have it go to the bottom of the deck or you could even palm it out. So make sure you stick to the end so you can watch all of those different variations. The way I like to start is by having my thumb on the side of the deck. So I'm just going to flick through two cards until I have them raised above the deck. I'm going to cover this action with my middle finger of the other hand. I'm just going to do those actions as the middle finger comes in front of those cards. Then I'm going to slide that middle finger down the short edge of that card so that I can then almost peel it up and do a display of that card. Or I should say those cards because really we're trying to hide two cards. So that is just a simple double lift that I've been doing for years and years and years. Once again, you just thumb off two cards under the cover of the index finger. At the same time, you slide that index finger to the other side of the card as you peel it up and display. In one continuous motion after the display, we're going to riffle down the side of the deck about halfway through or a little bit less if you want to make it easier on yourself. Then you're going to slide that card inside the middle and you're going to leave it out jogged. Now I like to continue to hold that card as I turn my wrist over to show them that the card is really in the center. And notice how my index finger and middle finger are still contacting that king of diamonds. It is that middle finger that is going to help you slide out the card so that we can steal it and then later deposit it on top of the deck. Once you've rotated your hand all the way over, you're going to slide the card out and in one continuous motion, you wanna keep that same speed throughout the whole time. And what we'll do is load the card on top as we spread the cards to show how really in the middle it is. In action, it just seems like you take a card out, you place it in the middle, and you immediately spread the cards to show all the cards that are above their selection, or the card that you just put in the center. Notice how the position of that card, of that palmed card, is a little bit strange, but it's perfect for when you want to load it as a spread, it will just naturally load onto that spread. So the second that card gets stolen, you can immediately load it as you spread under the guise of showing how many cards are above. One way in which you can misdirect this move is by just asking them how many cards down do you think your card is. The moment that card gets stolen, right before, that's when you ask the question, so that when they know what the question is about, you've already spread the cards and that card is already loaded on top. Their eyes are just going to jump up to you as you do the move and then they're going to jump back to the deck. And hopefully, you've managed to hide that slight in that little tiny misdirection. Another fun way to do this is by just loading it on top instead of spreading the cards as you do a fan. Everything is pretty much exactly the same. The moment you have stolen that card, you just come over to make the actions of, the, of a fan and the card is already in position for you to be easily deposited back on top of the deck so that you can do your fan. At this moment, you can have them push the card in if you want or you can just do it yourself. Another option that you have, the moment you put it in, you can slide the card up and down just a little bit, and in one of those motions, you actually steal it as you bring the whole deck forward to your spectators so they can push that card in. Another thing I like to do with this move is to place the card in the middle. Once I steal it, I'm gonna load it on top and do a double lift as I push the X card into the deck. I also palm that top card, revealing the actual card that they selected. If you find that when you try to steal the card, the double keeps coming along with it and you can't just take the single card out without moving the other one, you may want to use a newer deck. 
If you don't have a newer deck, it's super easy. Either put your thumb on the top corner of the deck by adding a little bit of pressure down that's going to keep the face down top card of the double locked in place as you steal the selection. Another thing you could do is when you're inserting that double into the middle of the deck, you don't make it flush. So when I mean flush is the long edge of the card, the one that would be closest to your thumb of your um, mechanics grip or your dealer's grip deck you can leave one to two millimeters of that double out. And with your thumb, you can contact the top face down card. This is going to prevent that card from moving because you're adding friction downwards with that thumb, letting you slide their selection very easily out of the way so that you can then do whatever you want with it. Of course, you can modify the way you do this slightly to just have the card go to the bottom of the deck instead of the top. As you can see, it's pretty much exactly the same. We're just loading it underneath rather than on top of the deck. Another fun way to do this is to do it with half the deck. You would just cut half of the cards onto the table and then you just perform the trick with the top half that you have in your hand. When you steal the card, you actually spread the cards that are on the table as you deposit that card on top. This is gonna let you do many different tricks in which they'll believe the card is in one part of the deck when really it's already in another. When it comes to angles, it's pretty simple to remember that the card that is taking the double and putting it inside of the deck, you want to have the back of that hand facing your audience. So if you turn your body slightly to the side as you do this, that hand is already naturally going to be facing them, hiding the move even further. But if you have a little bit of misdirection as you're doing the move and you just get their attention by them looking at you, you can get away with this move in any situation. Okay, maybe not if there's like a lot of people everywhere surrounded. So this is basically better for either a small group of people on social media, one-on-one, -on -one, but feel free to experiment and see if you actually can get everybody's attention to look at you, you can get away with anything. Nobody's going to ever see that you have stolen that card. All that's left is for you to practice. If you wanna check out my video on how to practice so that you can practice a lot less and have it be way more uh, useful for you and actually gain that practice that you're doing, pretty much building that neuroplasticity in the brain, check out my video right here. I think you're gonna like it. That's pretty much it. I wanna thank you guys so much for your time. This is one of my favorite controls to do. I've been doing this for years and years and years. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, like the video, subscribe so you can see more content like this, and I will see you next week on Monday.